Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm here at the gate. Well, not our gate, but pretty close to our gate. It's about 8.30 at night and our flight doesn't leave until 9.30. So we have about an hour and I'm just gonna kill some time here. Are you ready? I'm ready to go to sleep. Long flight, 10 hours? Yeah. What time do they start boarding? 8.40? About an hour, yeah. But they haven't called yet. So just waiting for them to call to start boarding. So this thing we've been waiting for, it's finally showing in the app. Let me show you. So this first one, it's me. And this is you. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Because they're supposed to send a new boarding pass. With, with the seats? Yeah. Well, we can go over there and get and it. grab it? Yeah. Let's go! Because then we can board. We can go in and sleep. Get some drinks. Now, now that I don't have migraines anymore, I can drink. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Wanna go? Yes. arrived at Sao Paulo Airport. We're currently waiting in line for the check-in to Rio and I don't think the air conditioning is working. It is so 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 hot. I am sweating already. I'm gonna have to dig through my bag to find a deodorant before I get on that plane. But uh, how long do we have before the flight? Two hours. So we have plenty of time. So we've gone through the security, the domestic security here in Sao Paulo. Yeah. And um, it's still another, I think, hour or so for flight. So we just having a little snack yeah. and a drink, and then we'll be heading to the gate. 
and then another short flight. I think it's about an hour flight. Here is the reality of someone who suffers with mast cell activation syndrome. I was sitting at the gate waiting for my flight from Sao Paulo to Rio and I am so, so, so sensitive to smells and smells is, I think, the number one trigger to my mast cell reaction. And there is a really strong smell of cleaning products and I just couldn't sit there. I thought I was going to get sick and I don't want to go into an anaphylaxis in the middle of the airport as I'm about to board my flight. So here I am standing away from the gate where the smell is not as strong. Also, let me tell you, to go through duty-free, you know, the area with all the perfumes and everything, it's a nightmare, nightmare. I literally have to hold my breath and run like a maniac because perfume is one of the things that triggers it for me. And here I'm praying that nobody sits beside me wearing perfume because I absolutely cannot take perfume. Like it is one of the things that really, really, really trigger my mast cells. So it sucks. It really sucks. It feels like you cannot be in a public place. People wear perfume everywhere. There smells of cleaning products. At least they don't react to food smells. Generally, I have reacted to burned bacon smell and burnt toast to smell. Anything burnt, I'll react to. But normal food smells, I'm okay. But perfume, huge no. Any body lotion, hair shampoo, anything with strong scents, big no. Anything artificial, like Febreze, deadly, deadly. Cleaning products has to be all natural, based on essential oils or vinegar. Detergents, clothes detergents as well. And it's really hard to travel when people wear perfume everywhere. And let me tell you, people do not know how to wear perfume. They literally spray way too much. Like you can smell people from far with their perfumes. And I am so sensitive than just like my daughter was wearing a jacket in the car when we were driving to the airport yesterday and somebody had worn that jacket before that was wearing perfume and the whole ride in the car I was sick I had to like keep rolling the window down and sticking my head out to breathe so it's not fun not fun at all if anybody there watching has mast cells you know what I'm talking about you know the drama but anyways, I have my Benadryl, I have my EpiPen, I'm standing here in this hall, keeping an eye on my gate, but staying away from that strong smell. Anyways, just wanted to share that little inside story because it may seem that traveling is all glamorous and fun, but for people who have chronic illnesses, it can be a struggle. It can really be a struggle. The other struggle now is that I'm standing, my heart rate is going to start to go skyrocket and I can't go sit down because where the chairs are has the strong smell of the cleaning product. So there you go. That's my dilemma right now. <laughs> Anyways, enough of this rant. Just wanted to share that little bit of reality with you guys.
my school had gone up. Just pacing the floor here, trying to breathe, trying to feel better. They are already boarding. I think we will be one of the last people to get on. And I have to make sure that I'm not gonna be sick on the plane because I can't have a medical emergency on the plane. So I think I might just need a few more minutes to pen drills kicking in. I do have an EpiPen as well, but man, does this suck. friends I made it we are finally airborne on the last leg of the trip to Rio and I managed to get that reaction under control thank goodness it was a little bit iffy I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it but we did and there was a bit of a delay as well there was a power outage at the airport for a few seconds there and it was enough to mess up the computer system and it got a bunch of passenger seats messed up. So when we started boarding, there was a bunch of like duplicate seats and it took a while to get all, all sorted. Two passengers ended up getting out of the flight and then we had to wait for their luggage to be taken out. So it was a little bit of a drama, but here we are up in the air. We have about 45 minutes before our final destination and I am super, super excited. So I'll see you in Rio. the pickup location we just called an uber it's over there. look at the sun so we're just going to the uber pickup location yes but it's not too hot, it's not too bad. No, lá em casa deve estar mais quente, porque aqui é na beira do mar, né? Ah. Should have put some facial sunscreen.
so we're in the Uber, we're almost, almost home. How long is it? It's short from here, isn't yeah. it? What, 15 minutes? Yeah. 15 minutes and we're there. So excited. Officially, welcome to Rio. I'm so tired. I am so glad to be lying on a bed. That was such a long journey. But now it's time to rest and go to sleep and wake up fresh tomorrow to explore. I ended up not filming at all for the rest of the day. Um, I was just enjoying hanging out with family and just kind of catching up. So I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog, this travel day vlog now because yes, I'm just so tired. I just need to go to sleep and uh, we'll start fresh tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow and then I'll show you around.